hello hello welcome back to my channel and it's time for our january pen and ink review or let's say progress report <laughs> January I only have five pens so I hope we can do this quick because it's already Feb <laughs> and I've housed them into my Galen leather I forgot the name I'm gonna link it in the description and let's see which pens gonna be washed uh, staying for February and whatnot so let's get it on and I really like my combo guys. Do you like it too? <laughs> it's very nature it feels enough holidays, you know. Um nature but not that dark mood. Sorry, um the stamping for my February is already showing here. And so yeah, let's begin with my Esterbrook um ST tortoise. This is really really so me this design. I really love this vibe, like I said in my previous video, and this is in F. I've inked this up with the Pilot Shizuku Tsukushi, which I always normally ink in my 823 and for a change. This is the ink level now. Maybe 10% is left. So obviously, I've used this more than all the other pens there lined up. So how I rate my... My report is it's always the ink level the beginning to check and then rating between five over five like how is the pen and the ink combination together and overall review or any notes i'd like to keep in mind for the future um when i ink these pens or use this same ink so for the ink level it's already in the 10 percent so i'm gonna probably wash this and for the rating between these two, it's um, pilot inks are more on the wetter side. And obviously, this is the, an American or yeah, F American brand. So this is not on the finer Japanese style. So I rate this as 4 over 5 just because it's a little bit um longer to dry up but overall the combination the flow of the ink to so the color characteristics of the inks is really showing in this nib when i write so this pen this combo is good for uh, fast writing you know it's very smooth and it's really um, comfy in the hand. I like it even with long nails. This section here, my fingers perfectly rest when I write. So it's good for fast writing, fast writing and long writing. There is no constraint or you know, you, you don't feel tired writing with this. It's really just the ink, just when the moment it touched the paper is just flowing okay so that's my um okay i'll just add a bit for my own reference um takes a while to dry so i know because this is an f i don't know recently i'm more into f and medium now when i started my collection it's always in the ef extra fine side so next on my pen for Feb is the Lamy Safari Savannah um, 2021 colors or 22 I forgot and I have to confess I think I haven't really used this much so there is still around hmm 60% left so I'm gonna carry this over for February okay so ink level left is 60 and the overall combination since the 
I've inked this up, sorry, with the Roarer and Clinger Out Gold Gun. It's a little on the wet side again, like I said, see? This ink is also on the wet side, so smooth. And Safari EF in this black coated nib is a bit, you can feel the scratchiness. But with this wetter ink, it is okay. I can say it's very good. So it's just okay, like it helps not to feel so scratchy because sometimes if the ink also is dry and you have an EF, it's really frustrating to write. <laughs> so I can say that this is 3 out of 5 because it's an EF but it feels like an F to me. And the, com the pen... I don't know if you can see, but it's just, yeah, I'm going to read it out loud. Pen and co pen and ink combo is okay, like meaning doable. I can again use this in the future if I want to, but yeah, just the scratchiness, even you can hear it, scratchiness is still there i've heard a lot of i've seen a lot of complaints about this particular pen that it's scratchy and yeah so i'm okay with this i love the color and i have six safaris i mean six lamy and it's part of my collection so yeah it's okay but yeah it's just a three and i'm gonna bring it out for next month so i'm not gonna keep it here third on my pen ink pens feb january is the pelican m400 the tortoise sovereign so this is my only pelican for now and hopefully one coming soon let's see it's if it's part of my 12 2024 pen list um yeah so this is uh um an ef and i feel like I try I have to try it with the pelican ink as well like I said this is always inked up with Inaho or with my Sailor Shikiori the the other green one so this is the first time that I match it with the actual pelican brand of ink as, as well so for this pen it's a bit tricky if you guys can see the ink level but to me it still has around 20 i'm gonna try to point it out where the ink is but it's really really yeah it's somewhere here so there's still like 20 no i think because this is a piston fill uh i think it's yeah 30 percent again another brown but it's different from the chukushi rate okay to me i can rate this as three out of five because i was hoping that the pelican is also on the drier side the ink but again it's still on the wetter side however it's um drying more faster than the um the other like chukushi so uh, this combo is also smooth but too wet and long to dry but the ink you can see the the this thing guys the ink characteristics it's really showing I think I really have to bring this pen, the EF for Pelicans, is still very, very broad for me. So I know there is like in Philippines, there's this guy, I cannot find anywhere, anyone here in Indonesia, but I have to get this um, fixed to a more EEF <laughs> so that I would learn to love this nib. Because Every time I'm writing in a very thick nib, my handwriting becomes worse. <laughs> I don't know with you guys, but yeah, that's my 
POV. So this is my third pen and it's still 30%. I'm going to bring it next month as well. Oops. I mean, fourth on my pen is the Pilot Vanishing Point Matte Black, my forever go-to now, retractable pen. Ink level, I don't really care for because I'm planning to ink this forever with carbon black. And it's really difficult to tell in this type of converter. So, I won't be able to tell you guys the ink level. And let's just say, let's just rate it with the new carbon, platinum carbon ink. Now, I can say that it's a 4 out of 5. Why? This is a fine nib, but it's still um broad to me like it's japanese pen you know it should be more thinner so i can say that the ink the pen and ink i know i have comments pen and ink now is way much better than before so i have to i guess i have to stick to one ink for this carbon black and we'll use my other the um, the attributes black or in a different pen because this one is tricky to clean and once it's already found its right match i think i have to um stick with it the downside with this is this is black but i don't know if you can see it guys it turned it's a little bit grayish so there's one new ink that i have to try uh, i got a comment in instagram and let's see if that is way more black than this but i have no problem i like also black gray blue black so not black black so this is another additional to my collection of blacks so this i'm keeping as always for my running planners like you know um my go-to so it's my go-to black i have to have a black now for work and yeah last but not the least is my lamy 2000 for the first time in the history of my fountain pen <laughs> collection journey that i hated this combination so i guess one commenter or viewer or subscriber mentioned to be careful with noodlers and i think he is right this is not a good pair with the noodlers so um i cannot really tell now the ink level but it's not showing here anymore so let's just say 10 or 20 and i have to say that this is my least favorite i'm gonna show you in one of my journals why but um i'm just gonna comment here first not a good combo at all first this is ef german ef and noodlers is very very wet i don't know the the i always tukio i always think this is tukio blue and it's never i never have any com um, comments with that but this one I'm gonna grab my journal and show it to you guys so I, this is my daily journaling and I don't know why it's like this when I write although my handwriting is already a mess guys no judging <laughs> but normally when I write with let's say this is a twist B okay and I really feel like my handwriting is in one direction one line same boldness but look at that it's just me or i don't know i know if you are also collecting pens you would feel you would you will always feel like this pen is you like or not but to me this is my feelings for my lamy 2000 this time and i'm not gonna ink it up again with noodlers still for this year i still have to explore what is the best ink for this if not blue and if you have any suggestions please do comment down below because I still have to find the right match for this anyway i have 60 plus bottle of inks i think and pens i have to count yet so 
I have to explore all whatever I have in my collection. So these two, I'm going to wash up. And these three, I'm going to carry over to my February ink pens. So I hope you like this kind of videos. Um, let's just label this first um, progress report. So I do this every month just for me to see. And I know like the other, like Karina likes to do the inventory of her pens because I believe she has moving moving pens like every month, selling and incoming. So that's why she's added that part. But to me, it's just the ink level, the rates and the overall of feels of my pens so whenever i want to ink them in the future oh did i use this combination okay i will not use it again something like that so that's the purpose of my progress re report so if you enjoy this kind of videos please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and um yeah just stick thank you for sticking around and i'll see you on my next one bye <laughs>